towards an uncertain and uncertain present and future. Unfortunately, what a difference two years and six months make, and in this case, not entirely for the better. Here's a mix of good news and bad news. The good news, the Raider, Northrop Grumman's latest pride, finally made its maiden flight on November 10, 2023, as I type these words, the one-year anniversary of the groundbreaking is just a day away. This shows that patience is a virtue, as the USAF began planning the B-21 in 2011 and was awarded a major development contract in 2015. The bad news, fast forward to the present, and the budgetary malaise, the old, basic issue of dollars and common sense, has decided to rear its head. How bad are we talking about here? As my colleague Peter Susha reported earlier this month, Northrop Grumman issued a dire warning in July that it could lose as much as $1.56 billion USD on the first five Raiders. That's $312 million per B-21 airframe. By comparison, the aforementioned and troubled NGAD is estimated to cost $300 million per airframe, while the much maligned Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II costs, only, in full sarcasm, $80 million per airframe. The U.S. Air Force describes the B-21 Raider as a long-range, high-endurance, stealth bomber. Northrop Grumman calls it a sixth-generation aircraft, or the latest in several generations of fighter jets dating back to the end of World War II. By comparison, the F-22 Raptor, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter, and China's J-20 are the only fifth-generation fighters in the world currently in service. The B-21 is the only sixth-generation aircraft in the world. 